Yeah, just let's move forward to fine-tuning fine -tuning Gemma. Okay, let's move forward to the most exciting part where we will fine-tune Gemma for um, our needs. Um, all right, so provided code snippet defines a function, uh, define the function generate training data. And basically what it does, it reads from a JSONL file, um, process each line at the JSON data and filters out examples that contains um, context. In genera it generates training data by formatting, formatting each valid example using prompt template and then returns a subset um, of this data based on the specific uh, training ratio. Um, so let me explain that line by line once again. So here, generate training data uh, defines a function that generates uh, training data that takes an optional training ratio parameter. Uh, it's defaulted to 100 and returns a list of formatted training examples here. Um, then a this this line here we ensure that training ratio is within the valid range from one from zero from one to one hundred. Uh, here we initiate an empty list to store formatted examples. Um, we open the specified JSONL file. Uh, defined the path to that is defined in dataset path and we iterate through each line in the file. Uh, so we parse each line of JSON. We parse each line of JSON and store it in the features dictionary. In the features dictionary, if features context features dictionary. If features context, it skips examples that have a non-empty context field. Then it and then prompt template format features. Basically, here we format the examples using prompt template and add add it. We add it to the data list. Total data count. Then total data count will calculate. Uh, the total number of valid uh, training examples, and then we calculate calculate the number of examples to include based on the training ratio. Then we print the number of training examples selected for our um, of the total, and return a subset of the data list contains the specific number of training example based on training data count right here. And then we need to, um, so the final line here limits the training data to 10% of the total examples for testing purposes and adjusting this value of training ratio. Of if you, if we need to control the amount of training data generated. So if you want to, yeah, put the threshold higher, you can always do here, do it by uh, defining the higher limit for test purpose. All right, let's go ahead and uh, execute this snippet here. All right, so we have training examples. You can see it has 10,544 lines and we will be using just 10% out of that. 